And good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Get Up and Go Breakfast Show. I'm Brent Apperson. I'm Dave Bernie. This is awkward. Yeah, it seems weird it's already. Ju- it's just it's just awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Dave's seat. Dave's in my seat for a little while here on the Breakfast Show. Going to kind of be a team effort on the Breakfast Show today. So good to have you along. How are you, my friend? You're looking great over there. Just your hair looks wonderful. Love your hat, your shirt. Well, thanks. The uh, hat's on because I didn't take a shower this morning. I'll just be honest about it. Uh, so, you know, when you're having a bad hair day, you just yeah. put a hat on. Guys are lucky that way, aren't we? Well, you know, girls nowadays wear well, a lot of caps. Well, that's true, too. Yes. You see a lot true. of caps on girls. Yeah. But, yeah, it's all good. Uh, it is World Sleep Day today. Doctors say seven to nine hours of continuous shut eye per night is essential for keeping you from getting fat or losing your marbles it says <laughs> uh, sleep is when the body repairs cells grows muscle and reboots your brain so today you have permission to hit the snooze button i guess one more time now my question is to you and to everybody out there raise your hand if every single night you get seven to nine hours of uninterrupted sleep Uninterrupted? Uninterrupted. Not very often. Yeah, me either. Yeah. yeah. But you might go to bed, and if you slept all the way through and got up at your regular time, you would get somewhere between those two markers. But I think a lot of us have a little trouble, uh, you know, with steady sleep all night. Yeah. Weird <laughs> dreams, got to go to the bathroom, yeah, I know. and then you can't go back to sleep. <laughs> yes. All, all of those sorts of things that we like to complain about. Uh, let's see, what else is today? Uh, today is everything you think is wrong day. <laughs> try try not to make any big decisions today because everything you think is wrong. Or so goes the notion. Uh, the day was created for some people to realize <laughs> that they're not always right. And then behind it, it says dad with an exclamation point behind oh, it. Oh, man. I don't agree with that. No, I think that hurts a little bit. That does hurt a little yeah. bit for two dads sitting here. And then right behind that, it's True Confessions Day. How long can you keep a secret? Here's your chance to unburden yourself and let that skeleton out of the closet. I got to be Any, honest. Anything you want to confess here this morning? I think anybody that's listened to this show over the years know most of my skeletons are <laughs> that is pretty true. much You're, on you the You are table. very open. You, you always have been very open on the show. Well, I've you know, kind of admired that about you, really. As you know, I, I believe in guilt. So <laughs> if you have guilt, sooner or later you got to get it off your chest and you'll feel better about, you know, talking about it with somebody. You don't have to tell the whole world, but... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's... It's okay. Um, this is actually tomorrow, but it's play the recorder day. Now, did you play the re- the musical instrument, the recorder in school? Were you playing? Because I remember playing the recorder in school. I'm trying to think what grade I was in. I want to say like fourth grade, maybe somewhere in there. Did you play the recorder now, back when you were in school? We played what we called a tonette. Is that the same thing? Uh, a little black flute? Yes, yeah. Okay. We called it yeah. tonette. Oh, you did? Oh, and okay. We, we played it a little earlier than fourth grade, maybe like, well, I take that back. It would have been, because I, I was 
a fourth grader when we lived when we moved to North Side, hmm. and I remember practicing my tonette or my recorder yeah. in the dining room off a bathroom that my dad was trying to remodel. Uh huh. And I was p- p- playing it and repeating and going twinkle twinkle little star. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And Dad was in the bathroom, you know, trying to be a carpenter when he really wasn't a carpenter mm. but mm-hmm. you you had to do what you had to do to yeah. get by sure and after i don't know how long my dad said blankety blank blank <laughs> blank put that thing away <laughs> well it's funny because it says here play the recorder day is the third saturday in march and then the little write-up it gives it's the instrument every school-aged kid drove their parents crazy with. <laughs> I bet a lot of people and are I, shaking their heads I right now. I think so. Yeah. Recorders are really old. It says they've been played since the Middle Ages and used to uh, and used to be carved out of ivory. The name used to make a lot more sense, too, back then, recording something meant to learn it by heart, it says. Mm. So, I there think you go. They That's could be, tomorrow. They could be kind of pretty if you played them. Well, I mean, we all learned to do Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star eventually. I think we got that far. Yeah, I think so. I was trying to think of maybe some of the other songs that they had. But yeah, certainly Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. <laughs> yeah. Or Lucky Star, t- Little Star, yeah. Merle Haggard did Twinkle, Twinkle, Lucky Star, didn't he? He did. He did a great yeah. job with that. Yeah. You know, we could segue into music real quick here. Yes, we can. Because we have a exciting breakfast show lined up for you today when Jeremy comes in. He's gonna. He's been working with Victory Underground for several days now, and has uh, set up a uh, well, a big day here on the breakfast show because Victory Underground is going to be playing at Sylvester's tonight, and I think a good share of the band, if not all of them, are coming in this morning uh, to talk about their band, talk about their uh, playing, and their new song called "Life on the Road," which they're releasing today. Yeah, and nationwide, we're, and we're going to premiere it on the breakfast show this morning. Exciting! So that will be fun. Yeah, I'm going to ask them if uh, they incorporate a recorder into their show. <laughs> I go, well, yeah, we had to have a recorder to do this song. Well, but, yeah, but exactly. It's different. Uh, isn't yeah, it? yeah, the instrument. There you go. Uh, well, you want to do school lunch menus? Sure, I'm. It's a little odd doing them from over here, but I'll give it a... I know. I'm telling you, this is this is extremely awkward to be sitting here at the board while you're over there. It's a comfy chair you have. It does tend to make you slouch a little bit. See? It, it really does, folks. On Brent's behalf, just one of those chairs that pretty soon you just find yourself kind of sliding down. I know. Down. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to try to keep scooting up. All right. All right. Sergeant today... This is the 15th, so they're having sub sandwiches or tuna sandwich and chips, baked beans, fruit cup, and milk. Uh, Cozad today, some of their choices include cheese pizza, uh, noodle bowl, or taco salad. Some of the choices at Cozad today. At Ansley, meatballs or fish, fruit, vegetables, and milk. Loop City showing no school today. Lucky Loop City. Arnold today, fish sticks, fruit, vegetables, and milk. Uh, let's see. Broken Bow Middle and High School today, made fresh chicken burrito supreme, pizza hut pizza, fresh baked zesty combo sub, and the grill station combo is a spicy chicken sandwich basket. That's at Broken Bow today. Callaway, fish sticks, fruit, vegetables, and milk. And Selma Myrna today, cheese pizza, made fresh chicken burrito supreme. Some of your choices at Anselmo Myrna today. Thedford Schools featuring cheddar broccoli casserole. S-E-M, pizza burger at Sumner Eddyville Miller. Gothenburg Schools, made fresh chicken burrito supreme, pizza hut pizza, uncrustable cheese and cracker platter, and fresh baked Italian turkey sub. Litchfield today, cheesy quesadillas at Litchfield. And at Sand Hills Dunning, featuring baked potatoes with toppings and dessert. 
All right, the Prairie Pioneer Center in Broken Bow today. Here's their menu. If you'd like to attend, please call them by 9 o'clock this morning. The number is 872-6121. Let them know you plan to attend so that they can make preparations. Here is the menu for the Prairie Pioneer Center today. Chicken enchilada soup, cottage cheese, fruit, and cornbread at the Prairie Pioneer Center. By the way, some other big days coming up over the weekend. Of course, uh, Sunday St. Patrick's Day. Right. So remember that. But uh, probably the most important day on Sunday is uh, it is Selection Sunday. <laughs> so I just want you to know it is the start of March Madness. And as we roll into next week, uh, sports director here will be trying to watch every game he possibly can uh, during his time here at Casey and I KBBN Radio so I can serve the public and keep you updated on scores. You just keep so. telling yourself that, Apperson. <laughs> The, the time that goes down the drain for March Madness just drives business people crazy. Uh, yes. I saw they the have, uh, data the other day on that. It's scary. Yeah. they. Where did I find this? There's some app that I think is just the March Madness app. You can get, I think you have to type in your TV provider or something, but, but you can, it'll show you every game and then it has a, it has a quick quick button you just click the mouse or something and it immediately takes it off your screen in case you feel the boss is coming up oh behind you God, really yeah oh jeez so. oh. in some places the boss would be standing around the computer as well that's a very good point yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. that's a good point I, I there's as they say there's no use moaning about it it's almost becoming a well how many days does it go well let's see uh Around one to two, one week, two week, three weeks. Three week holiday is what yes. I call it. Yeah. 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 And it would be Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday of those weeks. Thursday, okay. Yeah. Well, at least not every day. Yeah, correct. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That'd be awful. So. Uh, <laughs> Want to do the uh, trivia? Absolutely. Let's play the game. Let's see here. Barbie is a fashion doll, as we all know, created by an American businesswoman, Ruth Handler. Manufactured by American toy and entertainment company Mattel, introduced on March 9th, 1959. She's now 65. She can collect Social Security, Medicare. So let's see what we know about Barbie. Uh, Barbie uh, was introduced then. When was Ken introduced? Her boyfriend. Mm. Okay. Were they actually boyfriends or... Boyfriend, girlfriend? Uh, that's a great question. I have no idea. I I always assumed they were yeah. boyfriend and girlfriend. They could have just been friends. They could have. When was Ken introduced? 1959, the same year that Barbie was introduced, or 1960, 1961, or 1962? Win yourself a pizza from the Pizza Hut if you answer correctly. All right, give us a call, 872-2801. Is pain keeping you from doing what you love? If your neck, shoulders, back, or knees are preventing you from feeling your best, it's time to take action. Whether you've had it for years or it's due to a recent injury, you don't have to live with the pain. Pearson Physical Therapy of Broken Bow offers personalized treatments and flexible appointments that work around your busy schedule. Call Pearson Physical Therapy at 872-5800 or visit us on the web at pearsonpt.com. The treatment you need, the care you deserve. Shop and save with Spring Essentials at Barney Health Mart in Broken Bow. Brands you know, Crest and Colgate toothpaste and assorted varieties are only $1.98 each. To keep that hair healthy and strong, Tresemme shampoo and conditioners in 28-ounce bottles are just $4.98 each. For those colds and allergies, Zyrtec tablets as well as Mucinix liquids are on sale now. Open Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 5.30, and Saturday, 8.30 to 12.30, with the drive through closed on Saturday. Visit Barney Health Mart in downtown Broken Bow. All right, no call this morning. What was the answer, Dave? When was Ken introduced? 1961. 61. Yep. All right. Uh, here's some birthdays today, celebrity birthdays. The desperate housewife, Eva Longoria, is 49 today. Uh, Kim Raver, if any of you watch the show 24, I'm raising my hand, love Jack Bauer. 
Uh, she is 55 today, uh, played Audrey in the show 24, and played Dr. Teddy Altman in Grey's Anatomy. I've never watched Grey's Anatomy. Have you? Long time ago. Long time ago. Is it still on? I don't know. How are you? Uh, Judd Hirsch is 89 today. Uh, the renowned actor starred in the classic 70s sitcom Taxi. Oh, yeah. Judd Hirsch, 89 today. Uh, a couple of musicians celebrating a birthday. Dee Snyder, Twisted Sister. Oh. We're not going to take it. Uh, he is 69 today. And Brett Michaels, the founder and frontman of glam metal band Poison, also starred on the VH1 reality series Rock of Love. He was also the season three winner of Celebrity Apprentice, Dave. So that's where all the trouble started. <laughs> Happy birthday to Brett Michaels of Poison. You know we got to play some Poison, right, Dave? I'm behind the board. Of Woo. course, of course.
and a very competitive labor rate. Plus, emergency 24-hour service rates outside their 9 to 5 Monday through Friday hours. Call 308-749-2277 for CNM Auto located south of Chandler's Honey off Highway 2 in Anselmo. CNM Auto. I love the morning show. Wake up with us. We sound way better than this. Casey and I, KBBN Radio. I got to be honest, I, I sat here and I, I almost forgot to uh, click the microphone buttons. I'm just not used to being here behind the board when you're over there. It's it very is. awkward. It's awkward. It's weird. But I, I'm kind of getting used to it over here. You don't really have to. We just kind of wait for your cue. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> and you always got to be ready. You never know when the cue's coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the fun of it. Yes, isn't it, though? <laughs> I do have to admit, I do love the fact that uh, I can pick and choose the music while you set over there. That stresses me a fun. little. Yeah. You know, we have we have certain quality standards here, you know. <laughs> I'm yeah. certain. I'm not saying I'm not saying <laughs> how high they are, but we have certain standards. Yes. You, you know we do. Absolutely we do. Uh, quick programming note, we will remind you that tonight... We'll have live coverage of Nebraska men's basketball. Uh, they will play in the Big Ten tournament. Usually Nebraska's played by now in the Big Ten tournament, but uh, they've had such a great year. Uh, they got a double bye in the tournament, so they'll play tonight. We know their opponent, uh, Indiana, hung on in a th- thrilling game against Penn State. Penn State had a chance at a three to win the game at the buzzer last night, missed it. Indiana ended up winning by two. So Indiana and Nebraska will be the matchup tonight. And we'll have it for you on KBBN 95.3 FM. Kent Pavelka will be behind the microphone, and I can only imagine how pumped up Kent will be. He's been waiting for years for this. <laughs> hey, did uh, Creighton got beat last night? They did, yes. In a, I just happened to catch the very end of it when I got home. I watched the the last of the second half. Thought they were going to. They made a comeback. They mm-hmm. were behind and pull it off, but it didn't happen. Now. Are they done for the year then, or will they get a play in the? Yeah, they'll, they'll get they'll get an at large bid. Okay, I'm sure into the NCAA tournament. They're done in their conference tournament. That was a conference, which yeah. which is what they were playing in last night. But uh, yeah, the NCAA tournament will start next week, and yeah, they'll they'll be invited to participate in that. Now, the loss last night may have, I don't know, may have changed where they will be seated mm-hmm. coming up in the tournament. But yeah, Creighton Creighton will certainly be there and i would think that regardless of what happens tonight nebraska's in too but they need to win tonight it'll be interesting yeah Fun. so uh we'll have it for you and we'll have uh hopefully nebraska will play into the weekend we'll see what happens uh if they do we will have every nebraska basketball game from the tournament for you live on kbbn 95.3 fm all right it's your choice that you have a topic you want to discuss we got four minutes till the top of the hour I have a song that'll take us there. Um, it's your choice. Let Brent play the song, or do you have a topic of conversation you would like to discuss so that Brent doesn't play this song? Well, what's the song? Well, it's from the 80s. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> well, since you're in command over there, you have the board... <laughs> And you have to put up with me sitting over there all the time and playing what uh, comes up. I'm just going to bite the bullet and exit, let you finish the uh, half hour out. Okay. And uh, Jeremy will be in later, so you just you just knock yourself out. All right. Well, since we're talking, I just felt we should play a sports-themed song. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man.
KCNI, KBBN, Broken Bow, Nebraska. CBS News Brief. At least three people are dead in Logan County, Ohio, after severe storms that spawned tornadoes in several Midwestern states. Gail Leiter lives in Hanover, Indiana. I knew it was coming this way, so we, we just ran to the middle of the house into the utility room, and about 30 seconds later, the, it hit. Police in Winchester, Indiana, report significant injuries. Ethan Crumley's mother and now father are the first parents to be convicted in a mass shooting by their child. The teenager killed four students at his high school in Michigan. Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald told CBS. This doesn't bring back their their, their children, but it is an opportunity and a moment of accountability. System failures reported at McDonald's worldwide this morning. Reporter Scott Maiman from Canberra, Australia. The outage prevented orders being taken and staff could not accept digital payments. McDonald's denies it was hacked. CBS News Brief. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. In Nebraska news, a new coalition aimed at stopping the efforts of the Epic Option Tax Ballot Initiative launched Thursday, led by former state senators and other major organizations in the state. The EPIC option would eliminate all property, income, and inheritance and corporate taxes and rely entirely on consumption or sales tax. The organizers of the No New Taxes Nebraska, which includes former Senators Dan Hughes and Brent Lenstrom, as well as members of the Nebraska Chamber, Nebraska Hospital Association, Nebraska Realtors, and more, said the EPIC option is not the solution for Nebraska. Hughes said EPIC tax proponents claim a tax of 8% will be what they did when the economic studies have shown a rate of 22.1% that would be required just to replace the revenue that's needed to fund the state. They also raised concerns about the tax eliminating local control by taking property taxes away from local governments. Hugh says, I live in western Nebraska, I farm for a living, and a 22% increase would be devastating, but more devastating than that would be the loss of local control to school districts, counties, our NRDs, fire districts. It's just not workable, said Hughes. They also expressed how an increased sales tax would impact those on fixed income. They said that seniors would be hardest hit by the EPIC proposal. 1011 News spoke with uh, sponsors of the Consumption Tax Ballot Initiative on the phone and received an email with comments from Steve Erdman, who is a senator, who introduced the idea of the EPIC auction. Both deny the claims made by No News Taxes Nebraska. That's Nebraska News. From the Fox Sports Studios in Los Angeles. Here's Eddie Garcia. News from the NFL, where the L.A. Chargers traded veteran wide receiver Keenan Allen to the Chicago Bears for a fourth-round pick in this year's draft. The Chargers also restructured the contract of defensive end Joey Bosa. Kansas City Chiefs signed former Ravens and Cardinals wide receiver Marquise Hollywood Brown to a one-year $11 million deal. The Washington Commanders are trading quarterback Sam Howell to the Seattle Seahawks. The Atlanta Falcons are shipping quarterback Desmond Ritter to the Arizona Cardinals. In the NBA, the Celtics are the first team to clinch a playoff spot. They beat the Celtics 127-112 to improve to a league-best 52 two and 14 thunder over the mavericks 126 to 119 oklahoma city moves back into a tie with denver but the top spot in the west are both at 46 and 20 no luka Doncic in this one for dallas with the hamstring injury clippers over the bulls 126 to 111 bucks down the 76ers 114 to 105 golf second round action underway at the players championship here's your weatherology forecast i'm meteorologist jennifer vujitski Lots of sunshine today with daytime highs approaching 57. Winds out of the northwest, 8 to 15 miles per hour. Lows of love around 33. Tonight, clear skies. Lots of sunshine tomorrow, 58. Mainly clear skies Sunday with a high of 49. 61 Monday. From the Weatherology Weather Center, I'm staff meteorologist Jennifer Wojcicki. They grow up so fast, and soon enough, they're off to college. But as time goes by, the cost of tuition continues to rise. You know that college is important, but the expenses may seem out of reach. Edward Jones can help. I'm Edward Jones Financial Advisor Tim McCaslin. And I'm Edward Jones Financial Advisor Janet Lawhorn. Let's work together to help you tackle growing college expenses. Call us at 308 308- 872-6849 or visit edwardjones.com to schedule an appointment. Edward Jones, member SIPC. 
Currently in our studios, temperature's been dropping here this morning, now at 26 degrees. Mostly cloudy skies, we'll say, with west-northwest winds 5 miles an hour. The barometer, 30.35, and the humidity is 89%. High yesterday in Broken Bow hit 56 in our studios. The low dropped to 29, but as we mentioned, kind of been dropping a little bit more here through the morning. Uh, sunset for tonight, set for 745. So far for the month of March, 41 one-hundredths of an inch in precipitation recorded here at our Casey and I kbbn studios you're listening to the get up and go breakfast show attention business owners stop wasting money on rent and start building up equity by owning a custom designed building from general steel over four decades general steel has been trusted by small business owners and the fortune 500 call us today at 866-95-STEEL for your fast construction low maintenance high quality building at an affordable price call 866-95-STEEL to own your building starting with just a small deposit business owners like you are taking advantage of early spring weather and getting a head start on their projects this surge in demand will extend the project timelines so act now and be ready to build this spring. Call 866-95-STEEL to secure your place in our delivery schedule. Stop wasting money on rent and start gaining equity with a building from General Steel. Call 866-95-STEEL now to find out how quickly your business can move into one of our quick construction kits, like a 50 by 100, perfect for the small business owner, or a 200 by 450, favorite of the Fortune 500. Just call 866-95-STEEL. That's 866-957-8335. Eight oh seven is the time. Brent and Jeremy now with you in the studio. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. Uh, all right, your prediction for tonight. Uh, we're both sports guys. I think everybody knows that. So your quick prediction on tonight, Nebraska versus Indiana Big Ten Men's Basketball Tournament. Huskers win. Okay. I don't know by how many. It's a neutral site game. Haven't played many of those. <laughs> It's technically a road game, if you yes. want, but I don't like that word road, those words road game when we start talking about the Huskers. So we're going to call it a neutral site game. Okay. Call it even for everybody. And uh, I think the Huskers, uh, I'm hoping they come out fired up a little bit. I already see that Iowa lost elsewhere in the tournament, and that has me even more giddy because that's on their side of the bracket, and Ohio State upset them. Yes. Uh, now, Ohio State's been playing better basketball they, as of late. They so have not been playing say, really well. But in Nebraska, maybe you and I talked about this off the air the other day here in the office. Iowa has like kryptonite when it comes to in them when it comes to Nebraska men's basketball. So, yeah, you know, times, if, they take, yes. if Nebraska takes care of business against Indiana, I really prefer playing Ohio State rather than Iowa. Yeah. So. We'll see. We will see what happens. Yep, and we'll listen to Kent Pavelka lose his mind <laughs> on the radio. You folks want to, I mean, do what Billy Bales does and turn your TV down and, and turn up Kent. You know, the radio will be slightly ahead. I do that ahead. from time to time. It, it kind of, it, it watches pretty interestingly, even if you don't have one of those radios that delays the radio call to match up with the TV, you kind of listen to Kent say what happened and listen to his excitement and how cool it was and then about 15 seconds later watch it on your television and see how it happened it kind of works in yeah. a weird way but he's he's going to be on one tonight i have a feeling i mean he's been wa he's been down there at the big 10 tournament i'm sure watching these other teams battle he's not used to not broadcasting for this long in yes. the conference tournaments because this is the best seeding Nebraska basketball has had in a conference tournament in a while. Double bye. Yeah. He's just been sitting there building everything up, and he's ready <laughs> to just burst. It'll be a blast. It will be. And uh, we'll have it for you tonight on KBBN 95.3 FM. We got a great show lined up for you today. Uh, coming up in about 10 minutes, we're going to get members of the band Victory Underground in here to the studio to visit with us. Uh, can't wait to talk to these guys. They're going to be performing live tonight at Sylvester's yes. in Broken Bow. Yep, they certainly are. They're going to uh, having be having a release party for their new song. I was just talking to them in the lobby a little bit ago. They said the song went live on Spotify at midnight uh, this morning or last night, whichever you want to call it. Uh, and they've played it a couple of times on the road, but really haven't put it out there in a big way like this. This is kind of their big release party, and then this morning on The Breakfast Show is 
uh, the radio debut of the song. So All right. we'll, we'll take that in. We'll catch up with the guys and uh, invite you to go and see them live at Sylvester's tonight. Should be a good time. Yeah, it should be a great time. And uh, we plan to get the guys in here around 820 is kind of what we've been promoting uh, to everybody and to their fans as well. So we'll plan to do that for you coming up here on the Get Up and Go Breakfast Show. Uh, I'm actually going to ask that tomorrow is Play the Recorder Day. Do you remember the recorder? Oh, did, yes. did you have to play the recorder in grade school? Oh, yeah. And I was a just natural at hot cross buns. <laughs> hot which cross of cor- buns. Which, now, of course, if you know the tune to hot cross buns is the same as several other childhood songs. Yes. Uh, so I could play maybe about four or five songs uh, that were one singular tune. I thought I'd ask the guys when they get in here if they have played the, played recorder. the recorder and yeah. if maybe that's what got them interested in the music there you go hey whatever works whatever gets you in there so anyway uh we'll have fun when we welcome the guys in here in just a few minutes uh let's see some other things to talk about of course we still have some job opportunities uh to present to you that are uh, on sandhillsexpress.com you can go to the employment page and take a look at what is available and jeremy's got some information about that The Nebraska Department of Transportation has an exceptional opportunity for a highway maintenance worker to join their team in Ansley. They reward their employees' hard work with a friendly and supportive work environment that encourages creativity and innovation. They provide training and career (coughs) development, advancement opportunities, ample paid time off, work-life balance, and a comprehensive benefits package that includes a matching retirement contribution. You can apply at statejobs.nebraska.gov. An online state application needs to be completed. They're an equal opportunity veterans preference employer at the Nebraska Department of Transportation. And also want to tell you about Central Nebraska Community Action Partnership looking for a program interpreter. Can you speak Spanish, Brent? Uh, no, I can't. No, no. I, okay. I, uh, I, I wish... You know, you always have those moments in your life when you wish you would have maybe done things differently and I'll be really on seriously I wish I would have been better and paid more attention in college when I took Spanish sure you know when I was in the class it was just kind of to get through the class to get the credit to yeah, graduate yeah. and I really wish I would have taken it more seriously well I can speak broken Spanish very broken uh-huh. but far from fluent that's the number one requirement for this program and Inter- I mean if you're going to be an interpreter you should probably be able to speak speak two languages. <laughs> uh, you need to have the ability to speak, read, and write fluently in both Spanish and English, have a high school diploma or equivalent, a working phone, a valid Nebraska driver's license, and previous experience working with children and families. You'll be providing translation for families and children ages birth to five, travel to different locations as needed to provide translation services, The full list of great full-time benefits includes health, dental, life, and vision insurance, uh, PTO, an employee assistance program, a four-day working schedule, 11 paid holidays, and an employer-matched retirement up to 3%. So if this sounds interesting to you, contact 308-745-0780, extension 105, or go to centralnebraskacap.com. All right, thank you, Jeremy. Fifteen minutes past the hour. Uh, we're going to play a little J.J. Kale and Eric Clapton for you, and then uh, that's going to allow us to get the guys from Victory Underground in here, and we will be visiting with them next. So keep it right here on the Get Up and Go Breakfast Show.
Studios, good to have you with us as we roll through this Friday morning together. And uh, man, looking forward to this segment. We have members of the band Victory Underground with us. Guys, introduce yourself. I'm going to have you pull those microphones right up to you. And uh, if you would, introduce yourselves to our listening audience here this morning. All right, I'm Karsten Victory. I play the drums in the band. Uh, I'm Jarek Victory, and I'm the guitar player. All right. And I'm I'm old, old man Victory. I'm dad Victory, John Victory, and I'm bass player and bus driver. <laughs> All right. And I think we've got another band member on the phone, right? Yes. All sir. right. Now, who are we talking to here? Good morning. This is Wallace Selby, and I'm a fiddle player. <laughs> All right. I'm the only non-Victory in the band. <laughs> the not the non-Victory guy. Uh, so where where are you at in your travels uh, as you uh, travel here to Broken Bow today? Well. I am in Pampa, Texas, this morning. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, and uh, taking care of my my mother and and my responsibilities down here while while my fellow band members are out cutting a path and paving the way. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, well, guys, maybe a good place to start for our listeners who may not be all that familiar with you. I mean, obviously, we, we see the family tie with Victory Underground. Mm -hmm. But just talk a little bit about how you guys kind of got into music, how this all came together, and uh, some of the things you've been up to. Well, it's funny because uh, you were talking about recorders <laughs> earlier, and uh, I was talking to my dad. I was like, when we lived out in Hawaii when I was a kid, I did enjoy playing the recorder. It kind of got me interested in the music life. Uh, my brother actually started playing the drums before I even started playing instruments. I played the piano for a little bit when I was a kid, and my dad kind of had bands around the house the whole time that we were growing up. You know, he's been playing music for basically as long as I can remember. So the uh, the itch started a lot, you know, when we were young, and it continued as we got older, started taking it a little more seriously. This this weekend is actually our 17th anniversary. So wow, congratulations. Dad, yeah, Dad Carson and I have been doing it since about 2007. And uh, it's kind of grown into this, and we added Wallace about eight years ago. So yeah. we're making a path, like Wally said, trying to get it going. But I'm sure Dad's got a different story because he's probably, I don't know where, you know, <laughs> his music started. Where'd you, where did your music start, right. Dad? <clears throat> you know, my, my music career, actually, the <coughs> gentleman that's going to join us tonight, Mr. George Ming, him and I are college buddies from Shadron State back in the, back in the Stone Age. Anyway, but um, Joe Parr, uh, lead guitarist for... Tim Zock right now is a lifelong uh, friend of mine, and he's the one that actually got Jarek started on playing guitar. Yeah. And uh, George Ming, who's singing with his music teacher uh, in the Gordon Rushville area, he's the one that got Karsten playing drums back when uh, Karsten was in kindergarten. So, uh, they, like I said, they, uh, you know, they would come into our band rehearsals in the garage and, you know, start picking up instruments and. Uh, um, the way the band, the, the Victory Underground, we were, I was a basketball coach and teacher in Hastings. They were students, and I uh, I told them, I said, you know, learn 50 of these old classic rock and country songs, and we can play a song or two on the weekends, and then you don't have to worry about finding a job at you know, Hardee's or something like that. Yeah. You can go to football camp, basketball camp, et cetera, and, and uh, they bought, bit into it, and, and here we are. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Now, how, how did you guys come with your we, the fiddle player, right? It's on the phone. How, how did that relationship get together, guys? That's a funny story. We were, we were the <laughs> host band for uh, a country music showdown, a Colgate Country Music Showdown in uh, oh, yeah. Shadron. And uh, Wallace uh, happened to come in just as we'd finished up the competition. And he says, uh, I'm a fiddle player. He said, do you mind if I sit in with us? And, said, uh, sure, but we've kind of played out all of our country that we're going to do. The next song is going to be most of, mostly rock. And he said, well, let's see what happens. And we kicked off with uh, Highway to Hell, I believe it was, yeah. ACDC. <laughs> and Jarrett gave him the nod to do a solo on it, and he did a fiddle solo. On, and oh. we're like, yeah, there there we go. <laughs> you know. That's what we want. <laughs> yeah. now, now, Wallace, please tell me a little bit about the, the fiddle solo on Highway to Hell. I don't know if I can imagine a fiddle <laughs> on that particular song was that something you just did on the fly or what yeah yeah <laughs> i uh you know people often ask me if i play by note or if i play by ear and well, I can do a little bit of both, so I just tell people I play by letter. I just let her fly. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Yeah. 
Well, uh, yeah. that that kind of brings us to the sound that you guys do. I mean, it is a variety of things, and I mean, with Wallace on board, incorporating a fiddle into rock songs and everything, uh, you have a you have a, a unique blend, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of different influences from all over the genre spectrum, you know, but. Uh, we can channel it in together really well and we kind of we all listen to the same stuff as well so and we have a lot of bands that uh are big influences for us as well so we listen to a lot of southern rock you know dad yeah. raised us on a lot of skinner you know 38 special yeah. easy top stuff like that you know and we uh you know the cookie cutter lifestyle isn't necessarily for us you know we're going to try and do what we want to do and you know tom freer our uh, buddy that recorded this song actually you know kind of gave us the freedom to do that you know gave us the the vibe to let us do what we want to do in the recording studio and that's you know give us southern rock honky tonk you know kind of keep that music alive so it's been awesome you know we've been trying to keep our sound or you know build our sound over the past you know eight years and it's kind of coming to fruition now so yeah yeah. And that yeah. kind of that kind of speaks to the sound of the song, guys. But I kind of want to touch on the title of the song and kind of what we were talking about out in the lobby before we went on the air. Title of the song is "Life on the Road," and talk about kind of how you guys mesh together as a band during your really, you know, to the grindstone times, which you're coming up on here in the spring and summer. Talk about kind of the song and what it's about. Well, I was well, the one. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say I was the one that wrote it, and I, you know, I just had a, I have a two-year-old. He's turning two here in about two weeks, and uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't know that I was gonna miss him as much as I do when I'm on the road. Uh, but I do get to get out and meet some great people, you know, and I do get to get out and make new fans. And uh, I've loved playing music for basically since I was ten years old, you know. So I wrote a song that you know kind of explains. We get out there, and and it is work, you know. You get to leave, you got to leave behind your friends and family, you know, and 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 kind of go and do your thing. But I'm getting to do it with my friends and family, so it's it's kind of worth it in the end. We are coming up on the busy season. We've traveled from Nebraska to South Dakota, North Dakota, all the way down to Oklahoma and Texas. So we, you know, put a lot of miles on the tour bus. Uh, but in the end, it's it's definitely worth it because this is the this is the dream all of us have been trying to chase, you know, for quite some time now. So, I wanted to write a song that you know express that and let people know, hey, I appreciate you coming out and supporting us, you know, because I'm leaving behind a lot of stuff at my house to come out and be hanging out with you guys. But it's that drive inside of all of us, you know, Wallace, Karsten, my dad, and you know, we have that drive in us to get out there and. He, dad fired up the tour bus a couple of days ago and it, it just feels like home you know you hop on that bus it feels like home you know and that feeling of getting to go out there spread the music that we've been trying to spread for you know quite some time now and and getting to get on that bus man it's just a different kind of feeling you know it's it's something special and uh i'm looking forward to getting that out there for all, you know all of our fans and stuff and uh radio premiere of the song this morning and people can go and download it on spotify and and uh all, take a listen to it there yeah you all, bet. all the different yeah. places you bet all you, over yep. yeah it's it's exciting because uh spotify is cool apple music's cool we've gotten people listening on all sorts of different platforms we just released victory 17 a month ago that's our a tribute to american veterans here you know and it it popped off pretty well but i mean people were listening on youtube music you know people were listening on apple music so it's it's available everywhere i looked this morning you know i was up till about midnight last night checked it out make sure everything was good to go it's on there so go ahead and yeah i was gonna say add it to a playlist add it to your like songs you know see if we can get some traction with it you know but i'm i'm very excited to to get it out there on the radio this morning that's very it's very exciting yeah <laughs> well i got i got to say to wallace on the phone wallace i i really enjoy the fiddle in the song that that uh i don't know just something about well you know this you got to have a fiddle in the band right yeah, yeah. yeah you know there you go absolutely <laughs> uh, you know john and i's music uh roots run really deep throughout the texas and oklahoma area and it is an influence on uh, on like the song that Jarek wrote here. Uh, we were talking this morning, and you know, if you don't know what a per diem is, you probably don't understand a lot of our songs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, That's anybody true. who 
who works out on the road can relate to the struggles that we have being away from family, taking care of things in two different places at once. And, you know, that's really the heart of what Jarek was writing about here, what he was saying there about his young son and the time that he could be with him, but instead we're, we're out giving our all. Yep, it, it goes it goes for anybody. You know, it's a, it's kind of one of those yeah. say your truck driver. You know, any kind of person that spends the time away from their family is going to know you know what's going on. But it just pertains to music for us. So. Hey, we got to give a big shout out too. I mean, my wife Janet um, and Christian, you know, Derek's wife. You know, to to live with a musician is a it takes a special person because you know the weekends during the summer everybody else is you know going to barbecues things like that. We're we're there. We're playing, but we're you know two states away yeah you know, so they're they're holding down the home fort while we're on the road so you know it's a it's a big challenge for them but uh you know i think we found some some good women to uh, you yeah. know, support us in what we do shout out to the wives yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh well guys the name of the song is life on the road before we play it i just uh can you give me your favorite road story whether whether it was a road trip or whether it was oh, a, <laughs> a, a a show or something, uh, anybody got a story they want to share? Who, who wants to tell it? Because that's probably one of the best Perfect. ones. I think we're all oh, thinking everyone's the same thinking one. the same thing, huh? Okay, all right. Well, <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh, the actual the album artwork for Life on the Road <laughs> is uh, made by my uh, stepmom Janet. Uh, the the album artwork is pretty funny but long story short we went down to omaha for a gig and uh played down there had a good time you know parted it up left the next day and we we're driving back you know getting on our way back home and we stopped in a little town i don't remember the name of the town on the way back but we stopped in the town and uh you know did our usual morning gas station stop where you stop yeah. grab you some snacks go to the bathroom and stuff Put fuel, we, put fuel in the bus. Yeah, we so, fuel up yeah. the bus. I mean, we stopped for about 10 minutes, you know, 15 minutes. Anyways, we stopped there. We all hop back on the bus. My wife is with us, and <laughs> she made the road trip with us. We're all riding on the bus. We hop back on the bus, get to rolling down the road. And our bus has, you know, eight bunks on it, so it's it's meant for everybody to sleep in there, you know. So we hop back on the bus after fueling up, getting snacks and everything, and start driving down the road. And we get about an hour down the road. And my dad got a phone call, and he looks at his phone. He's like, I don't I don't know if I recognize that phone number. So he looks at it, he answers it. And he's the guy on the phone was like, hello, is this John Victory? And my dad's like, yeah, this is John. And, uh, well, he did actually answer. At first he was like, oh, it depends on who's asking. You know, <laughs> the, guy, the guy on the phone's like, well, this is so-and-so with the uh, Nebraska State Patrol. And we're like, oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Well, what's going on, you know? And he's like, uh, you wouldn't happen to know a guy by the name of Wallace Selby, would you? And my dad, you know, we're kind of, you know, we're just like, what do I don't do? know. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? You, you, maybe you, I do. Maybe, maybe I, I do. Maybe I don't. So he's uh, talking to the state trooper, and he's like, well, I have a Wallace Selby here with me. And uh, he's at this gas station, and uh, he's trying to find you guys. <laughs> and we're like, oh, no. So we go back in the back of the bus. We're like, there's no Wallace on the bus, guys. He's not here. Oh, he no. hopped off the bus to go to the bathroom while we were at the gas station, left his phone, wallet, everything on the bus. So we left old Wallace at the gas station, drove for an hour without even recognizing that the poor <laughs> fella had not even been in the bus. And he had and no phone to call us. Had no phone to call us, so I had to call the state patrol to track down the old tour bus and let us know, hey, you left your fiddle player in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, we've got Wallace on the phone. Wallace, I want to hear your side of the story here. I mean, how did that make you feel that these guys left you? Well, you know, I, I felt like it was my own fault for sleeping so much on the bus. You know, waking up at where we're going to play is kind of my forte. And, uh, I was like, man, how did I do this? How did I leave my phone, you know? And uh, and it's funny, whenever you get in a situation like that, you don't realize how much you depend on certain things like your telephone. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know anybody's phone number. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that was actually going to be one of my questions, Wallace. I know for me, since cell phones were created, I mean, it used to be I could remember all kinds of phone numbers, but now... 
you have to have your phone to know what the number is, don't you? Yeah. 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 Yeah, there's not even a, a phone book anymore that has accurate information, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, I guess the good news the good news is they did turn around and come pick you up, so I guess that was good, right? Yeah, yeah. we love Wallace, well, man. <laughs> <laughs> no man left the behind. The really beautiful part of it is, is everybody, you know, in Nebraska were so blessed that people are kind and generous and uh just good hearted. Yeah. There was a little eighty year old woman come in that uh had worked at that gas station back before it was a gas station. It had been a um uh, it'd been a restaurant. And uh we sat and visited about the history and it made that hour or two hours go by a whole lot faster. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, Wallace says that's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're in panic mode driving back to get him, and Wallace is just having him doing Wallace things, you know, just always making new friends wherever he goes, man. Pick, I tell picking you up chicks, no matter what. <laughs> yeah. 1880, sounds like. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a great story. Well, guys, you ready to play the song? Yeah. You betcha. Let's All let right. it rip. This is Life on the Road from Victory Underground. We'll play the song, and then we'll come back and promote your show tonight at Sylvester's. Awesome. All right? Thanks. Here you go, folks. Victory Underground with Life on the Road. Day, sun shining down on me. Grab a cup of coffee, out the door I went. Some people they don't see how hard this life can be. We have to leave behind your friends and family, but I've got that fire in my eyes, got that never ending drive. Gonna keep on playing music till the day I die. We play a thousand shows. We'll play a thousand more Life out on the road Is what we were made Isn't half that bad Travel across the country See all that you can Don't get dealt the right cards Only got five people in the bar Still put on a hell of a show Cause that's the way we are We got that fire in our eyes Got that never ending drive Gonna keep on playing music Till the day I die We play a thousand shows We'll play a thousand more Life out on the road Is what we were made for Seems like I've been gone, gone for too damn long. Life seems to just pass on by, sing the same old songs. Gotta keep on chasing that dream, that's the only way I see. One of these days the music's gonna set me free. I've got that fire in my eyes, got that never-ending drive. Gonna keep on playing music till the day I die. We'll play a thousand more Life out on the road Is what we were made for
Oh, man. Nice ending, man. Hey, yeah. thanks. Hey. <laughs> Way to go. All right. I actually didn't go. know that they were going to keep that on there when we recorded it. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go, life on the road. That was the radio premiere, right? You that bet was, you, man. So. First time, awesome, man. awesome. Well, We're excited. Oh, well, man. thank you for choosing KBBN and KC and I to make it the premiere. Yeah, yeah you no bet, problem. guys. Thanks Not for a problem. Us. Yeah, thanks for having us, man. I sure appreciate it. Got the old heartbeat going. It it makes did. me all yeah, excited. Yeah, I'm <laughs> like a little kid in a candy shop. I got butterflies in my tummy. Great song, uh, guys. Uh, promote your show tonight. You're going to be at Sylvester's in Broken Bow. Kind of a release party, right, That's of right. the song. The, the quiet little bar that rocks. You hey, know. you know it. Freddie, Freddy, you know, he's been a good friend of ours for uh, quite a few years. And, uh, you know, we're, we're really proud of uh, the way he keeps live music at yeah. the forefront in uh, western Nebraska, central Nebraska. And uh, they have a great staff. I mean, they take great care of their customers. And and uh, it's just a great time to play there and uh, for us to get the chance. Like, uh, like we were talking earlier you know, this is the 17th anniversary uh, in St. Patty's Day, and when the first time that uh, us three played as a band uh, professionally. So to be able to do that here at Sylvester's, uh, you know, going into St. Patty's Day weekend, it's got a special event for us. Heck yeah, man. I was going to say, you couldn't ask for a better weekend and a, and a better place to get her done. You know, I just, the vibes there are awesome. Freddie does a great job, you know, and tomorrow we're heading out to spring lake angus you know and kind of continuing the party in tomorrow so but tonight looking forward to it man i haven't when's the last time we played at slides it's been a minute you know it's uh, been a, the new, new year's year eve. yeah as i say yeah new year's eve so looking forward to it man what time do we start nine o'clock right nine, nine o'clock yeah. that's nine. what i was going to ask you what yeah. time you're going to start playing and say nine to one usually is the the old standard but mm -hmm. we'll have like i said wallace is down in texas right now taking care of mama so we're going to have Mr. Ming, Mr. George Ming coming up, and he's going to play a little piano, a little keyboards, and a little guitar with us to sit in. So, But it all starts with a trip to the tumbleweed, right? You, you know yeah. it. What's the, what's the go-to at the tumbleweed, guys? You, you omelet guys or more like a bacon and eggs kind of group? Or We are. We'll yeah, the, the, the classics, traditional man. breakfast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. They look like biscuits and gravy, guys. Yeah. Oh, you no. can't go wrong with the I was going to say, you can't go wrong with the I'll old B&G, man. B &G. I, I Sometimes I get the wild stuff. You know, I'll get the cinnamon roll French toast or something. I, I like to get a little sweet for breakfast sometimes. but There you go. Yeah. It works out, man. I'm excited for some tumbleweed. Though. Yeah, that's just sure. talking about it made my <laughs> stomach rumble a little bit. I'm excited. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, guys, uh, we invite everybody to come out and hear you play at Sylvester's tonight. You betcha, yeah. buddy. Come out, come out and listen to us. Have a good time with us. We'll, we'll be up there having a good time. So And go uh, search them out on Spotify. Download that song. Go listen give it, to it. Give it some spins. Throw those numbers up in the air. Yeah, thanks. We'd sure right. appreciate it, guys. All right. Yeah, thank you so much. Wallace, are you still with us there on the phone? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. Hey, hey, thank you so much for taking time to visit with us this morning. Well, and thank you all. We really appreciate y'all there at KBBN for still, you know, playing the music that y'all want to play. You bet. And being yeah. a, it's a good station. A strong radio station. You bet, dude. Well, th thanks, Wallace. Appreciate the comment and uh, look forward to meeting you sometime in person. And you too. All right. Guys, thank you very much. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks a lot, guys. guys. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yep. Hey, there you go. Victory Underground, our guest on the Get Up and Go Breakfast Show. 365 days, 525,600 minutes, 31 million. You know what I'm getting at. The fish sandwich is available all year long at Dairy Queen and Broken Bow. They're also excited to announce that the crowd favorite shrimp basket is back for a limited time as well. Golden, crispy, flavorful. Plus, it comes with coleslaw. Head in before it sails away. One thing is for sure, your taste buds would thank you if they could. Catch the fish sandwich or the shrimp basket at DQ Broken Bow. Dairy Queen, happy tastes good. Don't let a dry spell or a lackluster lawn get you down. Sharon Lawn Care and Sprinkler Repair specializes in both revitalizing lawns and keeping them beautiful. Have them come to your home or business and worry about applying fertilizer with their five-step program. Then sell the lawnmower and have them cruise by and take care of that too. To keep your lawn happy, ask about Sprinkler Repair and Aeration. Licensed and insured, serving Custer County and beyond. 308-870-0348. Sharon? Lawn care and sprinkler repair, where the grass is always greener. They're thinking green at the Secret Garden. 
Some secrets just can't be kept. This Friday from 11.30 to 4.30 and Saturday from 8.30 to 4.30, save 15% off anything with green. Yes, that includes plants and new inventory. Now is the time to prepay for plants to pick up in May. Psalm 105, verse 1. Give thanks to the Lord and proclaim His greatness. Let the whole world know what He has done. The Secret Garden, located two and a fourth miles west of Myrna on Highway 92 and a half a mile north. Why did the Cardinal cross the road? To get to your neighbor's bird feeder. You can keep the birds in your backyard with a bird feeder full of fresh bird seed from Arrow Seed. Arrow Seed and Broken Bow offers feeders and nine varieties of bird seed to choose from. Arrow Seed's bird seed is available in economically priced bulk quantities from one pound to 50 pounds, so you can get as much or as little as you need at a great price. Get the birds back to your yard with a full bird feeder from Arrow Seed in Broken Bow. It's tuxedo time. The south side of the square is where you should be going if you want to look dapper. Head to Chapin's and Lola will get you fitted for the perfect style and color to match that awesome personality of yours. Each time you rent a tux, $10 goes to your after prom party. Right now is also the perfect time to register for weddings that are right around the corner. Get your tuxes at Chapin's Furniture in Broken Bow. Sane 24 Fitness, your ultimate fitness destination in Arnold. Open 24-7 because your fitness goals don't rest and neither do they. Whether you're looking to build strength with a personal trainer, find your zen in a yoga class, or amp up your summer with boot camp, Sane 24 Fitness works with all ages. Tanning services are also available and beds have new bulbs just in time for prom season. Join the Sane 24 Fitness family today and unlock your potential. Visit them in Arnold or like them on Facebook. Dave and Brent. <laughs> you two guys. <laughs> the Get Up and Go Breakfast Show. Oh, man, great having the guys from Victory Underground in with us to talk about their new song that we premiered for you here on KBBN Radio. We encourage you to take in their show tonight at Sylvester's in Broken Bow. And now in the studio with us to premiere his new song is Rick Nelson with Custer Public Power District. All right. Oh, good morning. You ever heard the the song, I Went to a Garden Party? Uh, what? I No. Is that, that your Rick song? Nelson? Yeah, is that <laughs> yes, Rick Nelson? That, that is Ricky Nelson <laughs> that, that sang that, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you going to do uh, Hello, Mary Lou for yeah, us? Uh, oh, I would love to, just probably not today. I, I don't have <laughs> my vocal cords all warmed up. Uh, that's great. Rick, good to see you. It's good to see you. How, how have you been, my friend? Uh, just uh, fantastic, actually. Um, lots of things going on, staying really, really busy and, and, uh, from all different kinds of aspects. Yeah. So I got a question for you. Okay. I'll try to have an answer. What was the first form of energy efficiency? Energy efficiency. Hmm. Um, I know this is wrong, but I'm going to say wind. Oh man. I know. Energy efficient. You're throwing me off with the word efficiency. I yeah. feel like this isn't as simple of an answer as I can. I feel like this was only three radio shows ago oh, that we fire. talked about that. Fire. Am I right? <laughs> well, it's either, did you say fire? No, it, I think it was a wheel, wasn't it? Oh, fire? wheel. Wheel. Oh. Fire. Well, fi fire came fire up fire in works. some kind of conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I said wheel, and I think that was wrong. But then we went to fire, and that was, I think, kind of where we started. Huh. But I don't know. And people wonder why we repeat things on the radio. <laughs> yeah, yes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Very good point. <laughs> so, so what is the answer? I don't know. Because I'm going to write it down. <laughs> yeah. It feels like one of those things that is, debate, is debated online. It could be debated online. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to start that debate? No, I, I'm, not, I'm not much of an online debater unless it yeah. has to do with Nebraska football. <laughs> <laughs> and Jeremy's good at that. Yeah, I, I'd be I love really? reading, uh, yeah. having, a, having a debate about energy and electricity, I feel like I'll leave that to Because if I started the, ba the debate on the Internet, with my luck, it's only a matter of time before I run into a Rick Nelson who knows what he's talking about, and then I quickly get shut down in the debate and don't know what to do. You're you're on the other side of the Internet just telling me the what for. Yeah. Well, shucks. 
I, I <laughs> thought that'd be a, a good way to for learning something. Mm. Okay. Well, we can still anyway. learn. So what's new at the radio station? Uh, not to, to, we're just trying to make it day by day <clears throat> out yeah, here at the radio station. Today, and today, and today, I'm sure Friday. that CPPD is kind of like that, too, on some occasions, <laughs> on aren't some, you? On I mean, some occasions. Or you just, but, uh, uh, you never know what's going to come up the next day. So we are, uh, Frost is, is mostly out, and, and so we're gearing up um, pretty hot and heavy. We're going to be, I, I know the guys were getting the... Um, boring machine ready to roll we're getting the underground ready to roll of course we've been doing all that for quite a while now mm-hmm. but um actually going to be getting out and um hitting it uh, a little bit differently uh splitting up some crews and getting some some more work done they're doing a fantastic job already though um changing out poles they've got most of the poles changed out so every year we test about eight thousand poles as part of our preventative maintenance program, we figure it's better to change those out in the daylight when mm. when we can see it rather than after a, a small windstorm or an ice storm or something like that. So um, of those 8,000, uh, I thought we have about 100 left or so uh, to change out, um, which is feels kind of high, but it's... Um, it's about typical. Mm-hmm. Um, Got to remember that most of, um, well, a, a vast majority of our poles are probably at least 40 years old, if not older. So part of that preventative maintenance is uh, testing, and, and so we're, we're going to be testing another uh, 8,000 this year. Uh, but the guys are... The guys in the field are actually out changing out those poles. Broken bow's done. I forgot where they were moving next, um, but uh, just part of the process. So mm-hmm. I've probably asked this before, but how many... So you, the fact that you're on 8,000 pole kind of rotation, mm-hmm. how how many poles in the service territory are there? Okay, so let's do a... Wooden poles. Let, let's do a math quiz. No. Oh, no. Math. Okay. Oh. Hang on. I get, Hold on. Get my, Brent grabs a pen. I'm going to grab my paper. phone. I, I think okay. it's pretty simple. So Okay. Oh, well, we you don't know a... my math skills, <laughs> Rick. He's like, hey, it's pretty take... simple. What, what's yeah. the square root of 7,400, you know? In order to graduate <laughs> from college, they made me take basic math. Um, and because they didn't want, they said that's good enough, Apperson. We don't, we don't want to deal with you in any other upper level <laughs> math course. That's enough, right? All right. Um, so we are on a twelve year rotation. Twelve year rotation. Okay. Eight thousand poles a year. Eight thousand poles a year. Oh, okay. That. Uh, Just short of a hundred grand. <laughs> just short. <laughs> 96,000. There you go. Right? So uh, how many inches is eight feet? Well, I don't know. It's just shy of 100. Well, yeah. That would work really well <laughs> if I sent you out to get, <laughs> cut that off at eight well, feet. Well, it's just a difference of about 4,000. It's just a difference of about 4,000 poles. So are you trying to tell us, Rick, that you don't you don't want Jeremy or I applying for your scholarship to become a lineman? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> we have a we have a camp for you though. Yes. Yeah. For freshmen, sophomores and juniors if you want to attend that. Well, I could probably attend and people <laughs> wouldn't know the difference if they didn't know me personally. Sorry, that was I could blend that in. That was rather rude of me, yeah. but um so yeah. About 90,000 poles. I think 88,000 is yeah. kind of where we're at. So, okay. Which is a lot of poles. Mhm. And so we're on a we try to stay on a 12-year uh, cycle. It's anywhere between seven and eight thousand, um, and so uh, on a yearly basis we try to test, and um, so that that's part of our preventative maintenance um, cycle. Now, out of curiosity, and I might be setting myself up for another ridiculous question, but. That's how I learn things. Yeah, I, you, you gotta you gotta not be afraid of looking silly. 
when those poles are retired because they're either good enough for the service that you need right. of them right. or they're not. That's why you replace the whole pole. Yep. Uh, what? Ha- where do you put all those poles and where do they go from there? Like what? what's next in their life? Because even though they're not solid enough for use for electrical service, I mean, they're still pretty tall and they're probably pretty strong above ground in a lot of cases. And in a lot of cases, they aren't. Sure. Um, some of the poles that we're changing out are, are not only rotten at the ground line, which is where the moisture meets the air, um, but there's uh, woodpecker holes, there's uh, lightning damage, so there's splinters. Um, so uh, I'm not going to say there's a lot of those that are damaged above ground, but there there's quite a few. And when you look at them, there's, um, you know, sometimes it's, uh, you'd, you'd be better making toothpicks out of them than, than you would anything else. Mm-hmm. But So we we, uh, we try to haul those back to um, a broken bow office and then um, uh, try to get rid of them from there is, is what we try to do. Um, depending on, um, you know, what we have going on in the field. So we'll, we'll bring them back and um, hopefully somebody wants them out of there. So. Okay. How, uh, how did you come through the winter? I mean, the winter wasn't all that terrible. We had some moments. but right. uh, And listen, we, well, I know that you and I certainly can remember back to an April years ago yeah. when we're, it was terrible. So we don't, there. Yeah, we, <laughs> we don't know what's still to come. But right. up to this point, uh, how, how did you guys come through the winter? Was, was, were there things that popped up that you had to take care of, or did it kind of go fairly good compared to past years? Um, so... We have had some outages, but nothing, nothing real serious. Mm-hmm. And so uh, we've been out. Um, um, you know, there, there's been some outages that we've had to take care of, but uh, nothing, nothing at all uh, serious. We, to be honest, we probably spent more time um, shoveling snow in our parking lot than we did <laughs> yes. fixing outages. But you know. Um, at times when there's a lot of snow it, it's it's harder for us to get around and so an outage may take longer to get to than what it would in a just a normal day um there's uh but no that i we haven't seen a whole lot and yeah. yes um if you do the math oh i'm what? sorry okay oh, i got my I, pen and paper I'm, ready I'm rick sorry go ahead I said that so oh. 1994 <laughs> 2024, mm-hmm. April 11th. Yeah. How many years is that? Uh, 20. 30. <laughs> I don't know. 30. <laughs> so, so we're moving up on 30 years. Wow. Um, is it the 30th anniversary of yeah, that? Yep. Wow. That doesn't seem possible. Yep. Now I got... <clears throat> probably everybody at Custer's yelling at me right now to stop talking about it. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so it was not only in 94. We had uh, another one in 2001 and um, and another one in 2011, I believe. Um, so April 11th is kind of the uh, telltale sign. If we can get past that, we're usually in pretty good shape. Until 2017, when May 1 and 2 hit us, mm-hmm. we had some um, heavy wet snow up in the uh, Taylor Sergeant area. So, uh, but we still have some winter left to go. I know, uh, looking at the at the weather forecast for next week, it's calling for rain in that 25 to 35 mm-hmm. temperature range. So, mm-hmm. who knows what happens at that point? Yeah. But, um, We'll just have to see. It's all in all, though, Brent, to answer your question, yeah. things things have been really good this season. That's good. And um, the guys have been getting a lot of work done out in the field, and so that's that's good. We had that cold spell back in January um, where it was really tough to get anything done. Um, but um, other than that, you know, it's it's been okay. Yeah. Been good. Uh, we're, we're at 9 o'clock. Can you stay with us through the news? Can we sure. take a news break, and yeah. then we'll continue yep, our yep. discussion? Yep, yep. All right. Uh, Rick Nelson, Custer Public Power District, our guest on the Get Up and Go Breakfast Show. 
You are listening to the Get Up and Go Breakfast Show. Go, go, go! On KCNI, KBBN, Broken Bow, Nebraska. CBS News special report. The verdict is in on the Fulton County, Georgia District Attorney and whether she can continue to oversee Donald Trump's elections interference case. Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee says the answer is yes. If either Fonnie Willis has to step aside or Nathan Wade, the special prosecutor, that she had a romantic relationship needs to leave this case. CBS is Katrina Kaufman. He does say that there has to be a different way for this to move forward because there is still the appearance of impropriety and that could affect public confidence in this trial and in the justice system itself. CBS News legal contributor Jessica Levinson. This is all about ensuring that when we look at this case, and we look at how and when it proceeds to trial that we feel confident in the process. Willis can appeal today's ruling, so can Donald Trump and his co-defendants. Two days ago, Judge McAfee quashed six charges in the case against the former president. CBS News Special Report, I'm Deborah Rodriguez. From the Fox Sports Studios in Los Angeles. Here's Kevin Wired. Second round of the Players' Championship underway at TPC Sawgrass. And right now there's a four-way tie atop of the leaderboard. Matt Fitzpatrick, Wyndham Clark at seven under. They've already begun their second round. However, Xander Schofle, Roy McIlroy also tied, but they will begin uh, later today. In college hoops, we had a few teams advance in their conference tournaments. Iowa State and Baylor advancing in the Big 12 quarterfinals. As for the Big East quarterfinal winners, Marquette and Providence were the ones advancing, and the Friars upsetting Creighton in the process. NC State upsets Duke, and Virginia advances in the ACC quarterfinals. And the very last Pac-12 tournament, Washington State, Oregon, and Colorado all winning on Thursday. In the Big Ten, Indiana, Wisconsin, Ohio State advancing to the quarterfinals. And in the SEC second round, Florida and Texas A&M won on Thursday. Here's your weatherology forecast. I'm meteorologist Jennifer Wojcicki. Lots of sunshine today with daytime highs approaching 57. Winds out of the northwest, 8 to 15 miles per hour. Lows of a love around 33. Tonight, clear skies. Lots of sunshine tomorrow, 58. Mainly clear skies Sunday with a high of 49. 61 Monday. From the Weatherology Weather Center, I'm staff meteorologist Jennifer Wojcicki. Nebraska State Bank believes in our strong rural communities. We believe in our local ag producers and their capacity for innovation and growth. At Nebraska State Bank, we work hard to support our customers' growth, and that means growing ourselves as well. We offer a variety of banking products to make banking easier, especially during busy times, such as making payments online, signing loan documents digitally, or mobile depositing a check. These are just a few ways we can help simplify your life. Visit nesb.bank or call any of our branches to learn more about how we can make banking easier for you. Nebraska State Bank, member FDIC. Attention business owners, stop wasting money on rent and start building up equity by owning a custom design building from General Steel. Over four decades, General Steel has been trusted by small business owners and the Fortune 500. Call us today at 866-95-STEEL for your fast construction, low maintenance, high quality building at an affordable price. Call 866-95-STEEL to own your building starting with just a small deposit. Business owners like you are taking advantage of early spring weather and getting a head start on their projects. This surge in demand will extend the project timelines, so act now and be ready to build this spring. Call 866-95-STEEL to secure your place in our delivery schedule. Stop wasting money on rent and start gaining equity with a building from General Steel. Call 866-95-STEEL now to find out how quickly your business can move into one of our quick construction kits. Like a 50 by 100, perfect for the small business owner. Or a 200 by 450, favorite of the Fortune 500. Just call 866-95-STEEL. That's 866-957-8335. Nine oh four is the time currently at our studios. Now thirty degrees here at Casey and I KBBN Radio. Brent and Jeremy with you in the studio, joined by Rick Nelson of Custer Public Power District as we continue our conversation. Um, I've got a question for you. Yes. Um, what causes more havoc for linemen? Animals getting into <laughs> places they don't need to get into yeah i'm thinking of birds and squirrels and mm, yep. or the weather um well the weather is is somewhat more predictable than the beautiful saturday afternoon and all of a sudden myrna doesn't have any power 
Yeah. <laughs> because of a bird or something, right? Or a, a raccoon or a squirrel. Ah. Or a bird drops a snake into the substation. Really? Yeah. Uh, or didn't the, think about that, I guess. Snakes are going after bird eggs. Um, but I, I don't know. That's that's kind of, you, you know, you can go both ways on that. Yeah. Um, weather, weather certainly has the opportunity to be more widespread than a um, squirrel or a animal type outage. But, um, you know, you almost kind of expect something happen in a, in a weather event. Mm-hmm. Saturday afternoon when the sun's shining and no clouds in the sky, you don't expect, like I said, Myrna to be out of power. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. kind of odd. Yeah. Um, Other topics you wanted to discuss well, this morning? Well, I was trying to think of a segue into the next topic, and I couldn't <laughs> okay. get one. So, we'll just jump into it. Yeah. But we were talking about mail, right, uh-huh. um, off the air. Um. With the mail the way it is, uh, <laughs> I, I know we have customers in um, Thedford and Mullen that they get their bill, and if they don't turn around and write the check and send it back right away, then the mail is causing it to be late just because of, um, you know, it takes four or five, six days to get there. It takes four or five, six days to get back. Um, they really need to turn that around. One of the things that we're really trying to promote is the use of a app called uh, Smart Hub. Smart Hub allows you to get on, view um, all of your services. So if you have multiple, you can see them all. Um, if you you can set up uh, automatic payments through the Smart Hub, you can you can see your bills uh, in the Smart Hub, and and I think. There are a whole multitude of things that um, that the smart hub has rolled out, and we are we are expecting bigger things to come. And I think um, I think maybe next time I'll, I'll come in with a list of uh, things that we need to do, mm-hmm. or things that it, it will do for us or for the customer. We're we're trying to get people to move that direction because it's um, with the mail. It, it's just uh, it's becoming a pain, mm. and it's it's expensive, and um, it's expensive both ways. And and so if we can move more people to the smart hub and and try to find a payment option, um, I'm still kind of old school. I I like to write a check every once in a mm-hmm. while. Um, but then on the other hand, I, I kind of like things just coming out of my account. So, um, anyway, what, uh, like I said, next time I, I think I'll bring a list of, uh, of, uh, things that we, uh, that smart hub will do. The other thing is we do have, and I think I teased this last time, but we have two scholarship winners, um, Pretty excited about uh, Jay Shada. Uh, currently in his second year of um, uh, up at Mitchell, uh, he is he he's getting a scholarship. So is Braden Powell. Um, he's out in the McPherson County area, but he's going to um, uh, Alliance to get his degree in in um, power line. So that's. Now, Jace is up. I think he might already have his uh, lineman degree, but he's going after a substation degree as mm. well. Or maybe he's in a second year of that substation degree. Both are great. Um, we're excited about it, and um, congratulations to them for, for getting that, getting those scholarships. Yeah. Well, it, uh, it, it, it's a great career. It, it, it is a solid career. I can say that because my dad was in it for I don't know forty years or whatever before he retired. So uh, it's it's great that you guys do scholarships. That if young people want to move in that direction, it is a real solid career. Right, right. Um, the other thing is we're still accepting um, kids for the uh, summer camp, the NREA leadership camp. So if you've got um, 
we got kids in that freshman to junior range uh, that that they want to send freshman sophomore. Um, it's it's down at uh, Camp Kamika again uh, mm-hmm. this year. Uh, still waiting on to to see if anything happens up at Halsey for the 4-H. But um, so we're we've got uh, three or four I think applicants for that, and and uh, we're we're going to send them all. We'll you know if we get three or four more, we'll send those too. So um, there's still time to get signed up for that. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah. Um, it's hard to believe that we're into the second half of March now. Oh, boy. But, uh, and my goodness, it, not too long from now, we're going to be seeing kids get out of school and such. Yeah. Uh, the STEM trailer, uh, is it still going from school to school yes. at the moment? Or yep. I know that that's uh, been a real positive thing that you guys have been heavily involved in. Yeah, so we're, um, Taryn's heading up that, uh, that movement, and she's, um, um, Still moving it around. We still have plans uh, next year to uh, start that process again. Uh, we're adding, um, we just talked this morning about uh, adding um, a VEX robot to the to the mix. And so um, she's going to get that order and get that ready to go for, for next year. And um, more exciting stuff to happen. So we're, we're pretty excited about keeping that STEM moving and, and keeping it rolling around. We have 13 schools to go to Wow! in our service territory. Um, I think we hit uh, 12 this year. Uh, so it's been great. Yeah. By the way, on outages. Yes. Um, so there are more coming from the... Well, how do I phrase this? So the the extreme weather events only contributed contributed about uh, 0.33 hours per customer. All the other outages, which is kind of what we were talking about, mm-hmm. not necessarily animal, but everything else included, was 2.61 hours per customer. So wow, does that all come down to what you were talking about before? It's yep. kind of almost anticipated more with the weather. I mean. Yep. You see weather coming, you're kind of more ready to hop in the truck and go service those things. But and and uh, it, it also shows that there's less of them. So yeah, yeah, because you can almost in a roundabout way, you can almost you, you're building the poles and the systems to withstand weather. But you're not really kind of building those things more in a way to withstand a a squirrel. Lo- putting themselves in one particular place and causing themselves a bad afternoon per se well we we're um as we're fixing those Mm -hmm. um uh, animal related incidents uh we're also adding uh again a little preventative maintenance um what we call an animal guard or or some type of other insulating device from on top of the transformer, on top of the insulators. Um, so we'll, when we go out and, and work on a service, we'll typically put some of that animal guard on. And so hopefully those are, are dwindling. Um, but you can only do so much. Yeah. Uh, it, it's kind of like extreme weather. You can, you can gold plate a system, but with the right temperature and the right conditions it's still going to go down with the right cover up and the right um you know you do everything right there's still going to be uh those outages where you're thinking well how in the heck did that happen you know but um yeah well it'd be, it be it, it would be a boring life wouldn't it Rick? It would if, be if you didn't life. have the unknown exactly. to deal with yeah uh other topics that we have a couple of minutes left. Other topics that you wanted to discuss um, this morning? Or? Well, that's that was about it. I, okay. Just to jump back to that uh, to the stem trailer. Right now, it's it's up at Molin in Thetford, mm-hmm. um, and I think uh, I think that's pretty close to the last couple that it needed to go to. We we did something different this year and split it up uh, so that each school could have it a little bit longer. Um, I think that's working out probably a little bit better. Um, split it into uh, two different, um, um, cut down on a number of boxes, but but split it into two different schools, kind of give them the same thing. Uh, the embroidery machine is is still a big hit. Um, you know, we're we've got the Carvey in there. We've got several other things. Um, 
<laughs> Taryn was telling me that one of the kids was um, was admiring our um, 3D goggles uh, since they're vintage now. Uh huh. I don't know if you caught that or not, but our virtual <laughs> reality goggles are vintage. Are vintage, I know. Because they're like four models behind. <laughs> Goodness. So. He wanted to know if he could have them so he could put them on a shelf back. back. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, there Which you go. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> do, does, doesn't that kind of show us what technology is doing? The enhancements are day by day. Oh, my it's goodness. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, and then we can, you know, spend another hour talking about what AI is doing. Mm -hmm. but, um, speaking of that and speaking of outages, though, yeah. and then we'll wind her down, but... Um, you know, you you talked about uh, outages for weather events and outages for animals and and that kind of thing. We um, now have the b ability, and we've been uh, kind of massaging this a little bit and, and getting better and better at it. But uh, there are a lot of things that we're catching before the customer does, hmm. and I don't know if they know that or not. But we are out there. Um, so one, one of the deals, especially on, on, um, regulator that is not operating correctly. Um, we see that and, and we head out and we fix it before we get any phone calls. I know there's some services out there that, uh, the guys fixed one here a week or two ago on a, on a service that, uh, we hadn't had a phone call on, but, uh, something wasn't right on our meter reading and wasn't right um, on something else that we look at and so they went out there and sure enough there was a, a jumper down on on the service so they that meter didn't have power on on one of the legs and we found it and um, that was before the customer knew about it so we're doing this stuff kind of in a um, proactive uh, proactive way and we're able to do more and more of that and I'm pretty excited about that happening yeah that's great yep uh anything else Whew. covered a gamut today yeah we did it was kind of fun wide yeah. array yeah except for the uh, math quiz which kind of i failed, failed. yeah yeah, yeah. That's, well, i don't know if it's I'm so much to you, but two and two is five right <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's seven a seven yeah. well, thanks jerry appreciate <laughs> you, you correcting me on yeah, that yeah yeah <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, always good to see you, Rick. Have a yep. nice weekend, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. All Appreciate right. it. Rick Nelson with Custer Public Power, our guest on the Get Up and Go Breakfast Show. Are you afraid of falling? Team Physical Therapy can help. 872-5111. Good balance is essential for a healthy, active life. Team Physical Therapy is here to help you stay healthy, improve your balance, and keep you active. 872-5111. Our highly trained physical therapist will design a personalized plan for you to help you improve your stability, decrease risk of falling, and get you back to doing what you love. Don't let that balance issue keep you at home. Or if it does, we can come to you. Call Team Physical Therapy, 872-5111. Unlock the door to endless project possibilities at Ansley Lumber and Supply, where local service meets ag material convenience. Fencing post options include creosote and copper. Of course, they have staple guns and staples for fence repair, too. Gallagher fencers and accessories are on hand, and don't forget they're an authorized DeWalt dealer. Keep warm and clear the snow with shovels, hand and foot warmers, and ice melt. And keep it comfortable inside with their blow-in insulation and trailer. For the smaller projects, go with spray foam for around windows and cracks. Ansley Lumber and Supply, downtown Ansley. Embark on a rewarding journey in healthcare and join the nursing field. Nursing offers fulfilling experiences where compassion meets career. With competitive salaries, explore endless opportunities for career growth and discover which nursing specialty best suits your interest. No two days are the same when working in the nursing field. Be the leader of compassionate care at your workplace and make a meaningful impact in this life-changing career. Learn more about your next steps to becoming a nurse at centerfornursing.nebraska.gov. That's center, the number four, nursing.nebraska.gov. The weather, the market, the soil. Corn farmers know some things are inconsistent, except for Veltima fungicide from BASF. It consistently outyields other fungicides on average by seven bushels per acre, consistently wins in on-farm head-to-head comparisons, and consistently makes for happy farmers. Veltima fungicide. Visit RevXFields.com for full results. 
Always read and follow label directions. Yield data based on summary of 2019 through 2022 RevX field scale demonstration trials. 20 minutes past the hour of 9 o'clock. We're live on the Get Up and Go Breakfast Show, and we have another great guest with us. Good to see a thief from the bonfire with us. It's been a little while since we've had you in the studio. Yeah, Good to see you, as busy. always. Yeah, thank you. Good morning. So what's happening at the bonfire? You staying busy? We are. It's picking up again. You know, yeah. spring's kicking in, and you can see the numbers come in, more people out and about. So it's, it's nice. It's a good thing. So uh, with the weather kind of the way it's been, are more people starting to enjoy the spots outside? Because I, I know that... A little bit, yeah. I, yeah. I know There's that people enjoy they, setting out there when the weather cooperates. Right. when it's not yeah. windy. You still get a little bit of chill in the air, but yeah. sometimes by lunchtime it's nice, and yeah, they'll sit out there. Yeah. Um, I was looking at the calendar. can't believe the Easter is yeah. like, my gracious, right around the corner. It is. Uh, it is. So are you kind of prepping for that? I know that that can be a big day for people we to are. go out. We are, yeah. We're going to have a nice buffet. We'll be doing prime rib. We'll be doing ham. We'll be doing a chicken dish. There'll be two starch dishes, one probably being Spanish rice, another one roasted potatoes, mm. fresh vegetables. And then, you know, there's, I typically do four or five different types of salads. And then there's a big dessert spread. I, I bake it all in the house. Yeah. There'll be Swiss rolls. There'll be chocolate cakes. There'll be cheesecakes. There'll be all kinds of good stuff. Sorry, I'm just uh, yeah. just writing yeah, this down so I know down, to get yeah. my reservation in. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, it's a good idea to make reservations. I always encourage six or more. Mm -hmm. you can, but, you know, any reservation is fine. It gives us an idea how much volume, you know, when you do buffets. It's, it's a guess, okay, yeah. as how much food to prepare, especially when it comes to the, the, the expensive items like the, the prime rib. Do I do four prime ribs? Do I do five? So when people call in, uh, it gives me, I can gauge, you know, so many reservations, and then typically you do about the same, sometimes more than the reservations of walk-ins. And sometimes the ones that come in later in mm -hmm. the buffet start running out of things if I don't have a clear picture of how many I'm going to have reservation-wise. Yeah. Um, uh, I hope this isn't too dumb of a question, but uh, the, the prime rib, every, it seems like so many of us like... Uh, a different whether it's uh, some still like it well done some like it medium well some like it rare medium rare how difficult is that to try to try to get it to where you can kind of uh satisfy everybody well traditionally anywhere i've worked across the united states prime rib is a, a, a roast that you want to uh, serve more on the medium rare yeah. rare side uh -huh. okay so when you're roasting a piece of beef you know your end cuts moving in towards the center are going to be more well done you can't really roast a a, a prime rib to have half well done and half mm. medium rare for obvious reasons uh it, what they typically do in the industry is you know depending on where i've been in the five-star restaurants they'll put uh, if somebody wants a slab of a prime rib and they want it well done and the end cuts are gone then the old trick is they take uh, lettuce, they'll put the beef on top of the lettuce, put another piece of lettuce on it, and then it goes in the oven. Why the lettuce? It keeps it from drying it out, uh. and it cooks it in a way where it doesn't look dead uh -huh. when it comes out. You know, well, well done meat to me is... To each his own, but that's... Yes, I, don't, I know, it, yeah. And, and, you know, and especially with a cut like uh, prime rib, the French call it entrecote, then they serve it as steaks or ribeye steaks. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's, uh, it's those kind of cuts due to the marble, due to the tenderness, their uh, dry cooking techniques, and you want to keep them underdone. Yeah. Uh, on the Easter buffet, uh, serving time, will it be, I assume, in the af late it'll morning, be, afternoon? Or? Be, uh, call the or, restaurant, but I think it's going to okay. be 11.30 to 2.30 or All 11 right. to 2.30. The, the, the dining room would know that. I okay. don't want to misguide somebody sure. on that. All right. Price-wise, I'm looking around $32 a head. It'll be cheaper for the children. Again, the front, the dining room manager has that information. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's a good price if you want ham, prime rib. You want to be, be, repeat yourself. And like I say, there's there's a lot of desserts, and there's going to be quite a few salads. Yeah. So come hungry. There you go. Come hungry. Uh, speaking of desserts, desserts just during the course of the day, are, are you... Uh, doing some things in the bakery case or oh yeah things no, i've been like doing that. it typically yeah. i stock it up for the weekend uh -huh. and i have i've been doing quite a bit of stuff i've been working with the laminated doughs i don't know if you uh, folks have noticed it because they've sold elephant ears typically mm -hmm. european type pastries uh when i do the laminated doughs but i've been doing a swiss roll which people go nuts for and 
very simple dessert, just nice, it's tasty. There's always the triple chocolate cake if you want to have a chocolate heart attack, and then there's eclairs. I mix it a little bit. I've been doing a lot of with tarts, individual tarts, as opposed to pies, uh, key lime pies or key lime tarts, and key lime or uh, uh, what is it, uh, meringue, uh, lemon meringue tarts. So there's quite a few things I've been doing. Yeah. Individual, more like, or, or the tarts are big enough where you can share them. Yeah, it's fun. You keep it, you just mix it up. I like the pastry end of it. Yeah. I, I was going to ask, it seems like maybe we've asked you this before, but uh, is the pastry part of it your favorite? Uh, or... It's hard to say favorite. Yeah. I mean, yeah, as I get older, I guess so. You get out of the hot kitchen. But, you know, yeah. it, 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 to be well-rounded, and if you're working on a higher-end restaurant, so it's not, not necessarily in a smaller town like mm-hmm. this, and you want to be an executive chef, you better have knowledge of what they call hot garnet, cold garnet, pastry, garde manger, all the positions in the kitchen. Or you're lacking, and they can pull the wool over your eyes, and that's not a, not a good thing, not a good position to be in. Yeah. Uh, let's see, your menu, now that we're kind of coming into the spring, is it kind of staying the same? Are you looking no, at making some changes? Or The month of May. I will be gone the month of April. My crew does a great job, so they'll be taking care of it. I'm going mm-hmm down to South America. Uh, on my return, I'll be doing some of the work down there. The menu will change to a summer menu. There's things that will come back on just because they're seasonal. Quite a few more dishes go back on in the summertime. So stay tuned. All uh, right. Some of the dishes that I took off for the fall and winter will come back on, you know, the, the gyros, things like that. We make these things from scratch. Hmm. So when business slows down, lamb is a, a tough one. Uh, to have age and throw away because you're just not selling it in, in the volume you have to always keep in mind that we don't get to buy a pound of this a pound of that we buy in bulk and that's mm-hmm. how they sell to us food is perishable so certain things that don't move because of volume which it does slow down obviously in the winter time those kind of things go off the menu until the volume picks back up all right sounds good uh, so uh, if people are interested in the Easter buffet contact the restaurant especially if you're having a larger group come in get your right. reservations for that get ready for that uh anything else afif that you wanted to mention here this morning that maybe we haven't talked about yet no nope. i think i've covered it you know like i said i will be gone for a month but the crew will take good care of you yeah all right thanks for coming in My good pleasure. to see you thank you afif with the bonfire our guest on the get up and go breakfast show
Kind of wrap things up here on this Friday morning. Some more things to talk about. Uh, we're talking about uh, a lot of things coming up this uh, weekend going on. Uh, if you're probably like Jeremy and I, uh, you're probably going to watch some basketball <laughs> over the weekend. Maybe oh, have yeah, some. Oh, yeah, no way. Yeah, no, no way. way. Uh, but uh, maybe you got some friends coming over or whatever. Uh, if you're looking for a place to go to get refreshments, the Whiskey Barrel is a great place. Great place to go. And, you know, sometimes if you're like me, you you cruise on in and you know what you're looking for because you just, I don't know, you, you just miss the taste of something you haven't had in a while. Or sometimes you just cruise in there and you're like, ah, let's see what's going on. And you kind of look around. And uh, Whiskey Barrel is a great place to do that. that if there's, we're always talking about industry changes and how things are moving and shaking. Uh, the alcohol, the the beer and liquor world is wild. I think a lot of that came with, I mean, seltzers weren't a thing five years ago. Mm. Maybe they were, but certainly a decade ago, no one knew what it, what the heck a seltzer was, and it wasn't really pop. Now there's tons of seltzers out there, and they try to keep up well with. Uh, the different varieties that are out there, and they, they mix them in, and they always invite you. If there's something that, that you want to try out, they want to see if they can get it on hand for you. Uh, you're not going to go in there and see something you want to buy at a different price than it was the previous week. They set the prices, and they roll with it, and you can kind of expect that consistency from them price-wise, and you can expect consistent good service from their, their staff there as well, the Whiskey Barrel. There you go. Uh when the guys from Victory Underground were in visiting with us, uh, I know they were headed to the Tumbleweed mm-hmm. this morning for breakfast. It's a must, man, when you're in Broken Bow. And uh, the Tumbleweed Cafe is the place to go. And they're still doing those special things Monday through Friday as far as getting you served for breakfast with some things that they have made ready to go. And uh, they got uh, their lunch express during the noontime, Monday through Friday as well. You talk about just there's something about the tumbleweed experience and just being able to go in and have a cafe style burger but we know how life is it's busy Mm. you got places to go you can't really necessarily sit down every single day and enjoy it inside the restaurant but yeah what like brent said you can go through their drive-through and they're making up those burgers cheeseburgers bacon cheeseburgers chicken sandwiches or even chicken strips and fries and they're making them fresh and sending them right out the door with you. So do keep that in mind from 11 until 2, Monday through Friday. In the morning, they're doing delicious things through the drive through from 6 to 11, like burritos, sandwiches, cinnamon rolls, biscuits and gravy, and more. And uh, they also have their casserole of the week each week. So make sure you check in for that. They're take and bake. So uh, if you're not really in a good place on knowing what you're going to make for dinner that night swing by the tumbleweed cafe after the dining room closes the drive through stays open they've got the casseroles ready made look if i can set the temperature on the oven <laughs> and put a casserole in and have it come out and do it okay you folks can as well and that's a great option for them and we we know that the casseroles coming out of the tumbleweed are delicious yes and you maybe i mean Maybe you don't you don't want to not give tumbleweed credit, but if you want to try to pass it off to your family as something that you uh, worked on all day yeah. long and then pop it in the oven, I'm sure they'd be all right with that. I bet they would be. <laughs> That's a great idea, too, by the way. Uh, Nebraska Land Hearing Center. There's a lot of places you can go around the region, outside of the area to get your hearing checked, but there's no reason or need to do that anymore with our friend Roxanne at the Nebraska Land Hearing Center because if you deal with Roxanne, I know she really believes in local. Mm -hmm. And uh, she works really hard to give you that dependable local service when you deal with the Nebraska Land Hearing Center. Local service backed up by experience because that's what we're looking for in in any industry that we do business with, right? The experience to go with it. She has introductory prices for the Genesis Rechargeable Hearing Aids and promotional discounts include new patient discounts, existing patient discounts. So you're good. I mean, you're either a new patient or you're already existing. She gives discounts for both of those. And buy local discounts, which is what you're doing when you trust Nebraska Land Hearing. Uh, this sale closes on April 15th. So make sure you go in, talk to Roxanne, Nebraska Land Hearing Center, local dependable service right in Broken Bow. 
nobody wants to get on the road and drive to have a hearing test done or be fitted for hearing aids. Do it right here at home. Know that you're getting the great service at uh, 384-3852 is the phone number or go to the east side of the square. Name is right there on the door in the chamber building. All right. Uh, we visited with the Pizza Hut, I believe, earlier this week, and uh, they've got some specials going on. They've got these, like, $7 deals that are happening right now at the Pizza Hut, so check those out. And I think they're looking for maybe a delivery driver, too, especially to help them out, maybe some other areas if you're interested in joining the Pizza Hut team. But uh, we're we're in March Madness, my friend, and nothing goes better with watching basketball during March Madness than pizza. Or wings. Or wings. Get you yourself go. some of those wings. They've got that new hot honey pizza. Have you been hearing about that? Yeah, I, I think that she said uh, they maybe have the ingredients for just a few more of those. Okay. I think it's kind of ending its run, but yeah, I think it's been a big hit. So hop on that, and then uh, they've got lots of different flavors of wings as well. For me, uh big wing guy uh if i'm watching sports on tv uh make sure you set the channel on what you want it to be on and then get your fingers dirty <laughs> yes. and uh eat some wings but uh pizza Hut, again if you're looking for a uh kind of a part-time job want to do some deliveries for them cruise in the car and listen to some music and deliver some pizza make some money hit them up or uh, if you want some delicious food or want a nice easy meal have them bring it to you to pizza Hut and broken bow Sounds good. Uh, one more reminder, programming note, we'll have Nebraska men's basketball on the air for you tonight. KBBN 95.3 FM, Nebraska versus Indiana from the Big Ten men's basketball tournament. Game scheduled to start around 8 o'clock or so tonight. Coverage on the Huskers radio network will be at 7 here on KBBN FM. Always enjoy your help, Jeremy. Thanks for stepping in. You bet. That's going to do it for the breakfast show today. Have a great weekend, everybody, and we'll talk to you again on Monday.